Hi Internet, my name is Scott and I'm here to talk about the Democratic Labour Party of Australia. Uh, I'm reviewing all of the political parties uh, that are registered with our AEC, our Electoral Commission. We have a, a election coming up, an election, the 2013 election happens in a week's time. So I thought I would look at all of the parties and see what's on offer. So this is my review of the Democratic Labour Party. Um, okay, so firstly, the Democratic Labour Party, now they're not related to Australian Democrats. They're not related to Australian Labour Party. Uh, the Democratic Labour Party spell Labour with a U, Australian Labour Party spell it without a U. Um, they're also not related to the Liberal Democratic Party. So there are all these names, but they're all different things. Uh, you'll find reviews to all of them in, uh, in my other videos. Okay, the, the DLP. Now, these guys were formed in 1955, so they're a very old party. And they were initially, um, they were formed out of a group that were a part of the Australian Labour Party, so they, they branched off and became their own group in 1955. Um, they've always been supporters of workers and they have a, a fairly major focus on country and rural, rural Australia and industry. Um, they support Australian manufacturing. The uh, Democratic Labour Party would like to see um, some tariffs or overheads on the import of um, of produce. So they would like to support Australian produce and fresh food and put in some tariffs or, again, um, some overheads to uh, to discourage the importing of, of fruit and vegetables. In relation to uh, for international aid and asylum seekers, um, the Democratic Labour Party have stipulated they'd like to see an intake of 30,000 refugees per year. Now, I'm not sure what our current intake is. Um, I think, now don't quote me on this, but I think it's about 17,000. I'm not sure. Um, but so, I, in my opinion, I think that this is an increase, but I, I don't know the numbers for sure. Um, in regards to asylum seekers, they would like to see onshore processing happen in regional areas and they would like to put in uh, some places to ensure, uh, sorry, some steps to ensure that um, that there are diverse mixes of nations uh, in onshore processing facilities. Um, they want to avoid having, um, uh, having centres being influenced by one ethnic, ethnic demographic or another. Um, Okay, uh, they would like to see, in regards to climate change, they have a policy where they would like to uh, implement some more corporate accountability for people who treat the climate poorly, um, which is quite a noble thing. Um, they support um, TAFE education, so they're, they're big supporters of uh, technical colleges. They would like to increase Australia's uh, defence spending. They would like to move it up to 2% uh, of our, our gross domestic product, so our GDP. Um, they'd like to see that number go up to 2%. Uh, the group is uh, vaguely... Um, they're, they're vaguely against uh, coal seam gas mining, um, but they don't have, uh, I guess, there are other parties with more stringent policies towards uh, coal seam gas mining and mining in general. Um, the Democratic Labour Party, they oppose same-sex marriages. They do not support um, same-sex marriages at all. Um, and and uh, in regards to Indigenous land title, they feel that uh, there are no grounds for a special consideration um, with indigenous land claims. They, they feel that uh, anyone should be able to make a claim on land regardless of, uh, of race or background. Um, and finally, uh, the other policy I wanted to mention was that they support increasing uh, funding for students. They would like to see uh, the funding for students be, um, I, I guess, sorry, not the funding, the welfare of, of students um, they would like to see students living on the poverty line and not below the poverty line. So I guess it's more money for, um, for the welfare of uh, people who are studying. Um, that's pretty much all I've got to say with the, the Democratic Labour Party. Um, again, their policies, their policies are, are not extremist. They're, they're certainly not extremist in either end of the scale. Um, feel free to check out the, the party website and you can also check out the, um, the Wikipedia page, both of which are in the description to this video. And yeah, if you, if you found this useful, then please feel free to like it. 
and I'll see you soon. Well, since age 12, I felt like a case Dell who stayed to himself in one space chasing his tail. Got ticked off and ripped Pamela Lee's lips off, kissed him and said, I ain't no silicone was supposed to be this soft. I smoke a fat pound of grass and fall on my ass faster than a fat bitch who sat down too fast. Come here, Sly Shady, wait a minute. That's my girl, dog. I don't give a damn. Dre sent me to take the world off.